Greetings everybody. Welcome back to the OCD Illustrated channel. As always, my name is Katie and I will be talking about OCD. I've got a couple videos left in the Exposure Response Prevention series and this is one of them. So let's talk about tracking your progress. I pulled out our old um, steps for doing a trial. Right now we are at the little gold star, which is step six, recording the trial after it's done. To make your chart, you're going to need either a piece of paper or a poster board or a spreadsheet, whatever is easiest for you. Start by making a chart. You need at least five columns. Sometimes it's helpful to have a six. Column one is for the date. Two is for you to write down the specific exposure task that you were doing. Column three is for your peak SUD score, your subjective units of distress score. Um, so this is the maximum level of distress you feel. Uh, you're aiming for anywhere from like a three to a five. Your lowest SUD score is your level of distress at the end of the trial. Um, and this is as low as your distress got, hopefully to a zero or a one. Um, column five is for the elapsed time. Uh, that is the length of time between when you started the exposure trial and when you ended it. And six is for any notes that you want to make for yourself um, to remember what the experience was like. Now I've filled in um, a sample record of a particular exposure trial. So in this one I said that the date is August 30th, that the task um, was reading a script about a house fire, that the highest level of distress was a five, the lowest level was a one, and that it took 20 minutes from when I started reading the script um, to when my anxiety got to a one and I ended the trial. And once you've finished recording the trial, draw a line and you're ready to record the next one. I seem to have forgotten my thanks for watching card. Nevertheless, thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me again.